Hello crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? I am coming on with Let's Do Die Cutting Monday with hosted by Tree Craft On and also um I think it's Kathy's Craft some more. And then also too, I am doing uh, the Double Click Connect Challenge today, hosted by Double Click Connect. And her theme uh, for July is Sweet Treats. And when I heard Sweet Treats, I thought, hmm, perfect time to do this die set. So, Treat Craft Dawn does Let's Do Die Cutting Monday. And she, every week, draws a winner for the week before. So a few months ago, I had won this, um, not die set, but she, she keeps the die, but she cuts out a set from the die and sends that to you. So I had all these parts, all these pieces, but I had been pretty, forgive my fingers and my nails, by the way, y'all, my nails are a hot mess, my fingers are a hot mess, but, um... I had been pretty intimidated by doing a, putting together this uh, 3D uh, uh, die set, so I hadn't done it yet. And it just been sitting there and I kept thinking I really need to do that, but I never was doing it. Well then, you know, the double click connect challenge of the month was sweet treats and I thought, okay, I can't put this off anymore. This is perfect for this theme. I need to try and do it. So I did and this is the outcome. Super cute. Now there's a couple little issues here and there, but for my first 3D project, not bad. And in the background, I used the dragon glaze. I don't know, is that showing up on camera? You might be able to see it a little bit, but uh, I used these and I used this one for the ice cream and this one for the cone so that way you can see it on the edges and see it through the holes to so give it a little pretty shimmer and then I um for my birthday I had gotten a sample of um the dew drops that you can purchase from Double Click Connect. So that was super cool. And I decided I just had to add those to this. And you know, they look like candy sprinkles or something to me. I don't, all I had was Halloween color cause um, pom poms. So I don't have a pink or red cherry. I have a purple one. Cause as you all know, I don't use pink that much. So of course I have the Halloween colors. <laughs> So I have a purple cherry on top. And then I found this sticker that said sweet and I just thought that was perfect since the theme was sweet treat. And uh, this this does stand up, just so y'all know. It works. My mat is a little um, uneven right here. But, uh, and I decided to use this to hold all my little purple flower appliques that I have a ton of these and I keep thinking I need to find a spot for them. Well, here it is. Now I've got a spot for all these purple flowers. And these actually came from when I was working at the quarry. The woman who I was replacing uh, because she was retiring was she was training me and uh, she loves to go antiquing and yard selling and thrifting and all of that on the weekends. And so one day she showed up when she was like, hey, I was thinking about you and I found some of these things. They were all like a quarter and 50 cents. So I got them for you. This was one of the things was just a little, a baggie full of these purple flowers and I just love them. So, um, now I've got a spot for them. They kind of get in the way of me closing it, but that's okay. So there is, oh, that. 
as you can see, it's, it fits loosely, but once it's standing up on the shelf, it's not gonna pop off like that. It's just cause I have it laying down and those flowers are kind of in the way of closing it. Cause I feel, they fill up the whole cone part. So, and since I'm on the subject, I thought I'd share the other couple things that she had gotten for me. She had gotten this, oh, uh, this little, you know, one of these things. And um, mom had some spray paint that's been in the cabinet for a while. Not quite too, more of a turquoise, but definitely in my favorite color range. So I went ahead over the weekend and spray painted it and then put a clear coat over it to try to protect it a little since it'll be here in the craft room. I'm going to hand paint this frame because, you know, it, uh, oh man. How did the spray, I have this taped off, so I don't know how this spray paint got on here, but whatever. Anyway, I'll hand paint that. So she brought that for me. And then she brought this for me, which I'm using, as you can see, to store glues, but let me take them out so you can see this better. So it's super cute. It's got all these little cubbies, but look, it's got, oh, <laughs> on a frame, these little legs that stand up on the back. So it pops it up so the back is higher than the front. I'm sure you guys, I know my camera doesn't go up very high, but yeah. So she brought this for me. I just thought that was super thoughtful. And this is perfect for all the glues. So I don't know, I just thought that was super sweet and thoughtful. And I was super happy that she thought of me. And all these things are things that I love and can use. So I spray painted that over the weekend as well. I might do more decoration to it. I just haven't yet. But anyway, my main point of coming on was to show off this awesome ice cream that I won from Tree Craft On and I'm using as my entry into Double Click Connect Challenge. And the hashtag is Double Click Connect Challenge for that. All right, guys. Oh, and the other hashtag is Let's Do Die Cutting Monday. So um, I can't wait to see what everybody else does. And I hope y'all have a great day. See you later.